So as a shoulder specialist, I take care of a lot of people with labral tears and rotator cuff tears. Now, not all rotator cuff tears and labral tears need surgery. In fact, a majority of them don't. At The Ohio State University, we were part of a multi-center study group that looked at full thickness rotator cuff tears in people who had shoulder pain. And what we found was that a majority of people did not require surgery even though they had a full thickness tear. And they often are responsive to a very regimented physical therapy program. We take a non-surgical approach to most rotator cuff injuries at The Ohio State University. We place people in a physical therapy program and see how they do first. If people can respond to a physical therapy program, then potentially they will not need surgery. There are some instances where we do operate on shoulders, and in particular, those patients that have had a physical therapy program and have failed that management. They have continued pain and weakness in their shoulder. Other times that we operate on rotator cuff tears are in situations where someone has an acute injury to their shoulder and they have significant weakness and pain. It's often better to repair those type of tears sooner rather than later. If one does require surgery on the shoulder, we take a very minimally invasive approach to the shoulder. We do all arthroscopic rotator cuff repairs and labral repairs, which does minimize the pain after surgery and also speeds up the recovery.